Mehta. A part of the CII IGBC Mumbai chapter, Student Activity Committee, and the Deputy General Manager, Engineering Design at Reliance Industries Limited, Navi Mumbai headquarters. With an engineering background and around three decades of professional experience, he spent more than a decade in the MEP design team for retail chains across India. He has worked in various capacities with Blue Star Limited, Voltas Limited, and LG Electronics India Private Limited. He has attended various international conferences. Mr. Bhavish is a part of the Smart City Guidelines Technical Committee formed by CII IGBC. It has membership with Ashre, Ishre, Indian Plumbing Association, founding individual member of AMCA India, Refrigeration and Air Conditioning Traders Association, Institute of Indian Interior Designs, etc. He is actively involved in IGBC Platinum Rating Certification for Reliance Projects and is a winning team member from Reliance Industries Limited of Quality Circle Award. Today, Mr. Bhavesh will talk about the HVAC system for green and sustainable buildings. Let's welcome Mr. Bhavesh. And I, I sincerely thank uh, Anish, Mr. Anish Kadyan, Ashish Rakheja and Preeti, of course. Uh, uh, whatever I would like to speak, they have already uh, talked about uh, these things. Basically, uh, I, I second what Mr. Kadyan has said about the uh, space for maintenance, uh, filter cleaning, uh, schedule of maintenance, chiller, water, uh, even you need to maintain the quality of water also. So the, I, I second what Mr. Anish has said. And of course, uh, Mr. Ashish Rakheja, he is always an evergreen person. So I, I second whatever the IGBC about uh, the green building standards and what he said. And of course, the maintenance, what uh, uh, Preeti has said, I always second. So uh, to all, I, I support uh, all my fellow speakers have said. Now I will talk about uh, the real activities to be carried out for uh, energy efficiency for the sustainability on HVAC part. Now, when you when you select the chillers, when you select the HVAC system, it has to be definitely eco-friendly with the ozone-friendly refrigerant. That's called the non-CFC refrigerant. Okay, and uh, uh, generally, uh, when you select the maybe for the bigger chiller plant, it should be uh, the IKW or the Kilowatt per ton should be nowadays you got a better energy efficient chillers with 0 0.4, 0 0.5 or maybe 0 0.6, 0 0.7 kilowatt per ton. We also need to use about the variable frequency drive for all the issues. How to optimize the energy consumption? When Mr. Ashish told that energy and water, wherever, whichever country you go, always the energy and water is the very much concern of all the end users, as I said. Even like us. So we need to optimize the energy conservation by using the best energy efficient uh, system available in the world rather. And of course, the water is also very important because water, we should touch upon water also. Tomorrow going to be a very much water crisis uh, across the world, maybe across the India also. So the VFD for the chillers, we used to give primary, secondary pump sets. We always used to give. Then uh, selection of ducting, when uh, air and the, the sheet metal ducting is used for distribution of air to the respective areas. So basically, generally, we always select the low pressure ducting and low pressure piping. We may need to have one size higher ducting or one size higher piping for maybe chill water and condenser water. But if you see the life cycle cost analysis, because generally whenever anyone design or at least we design in Reliance, we should always do the life cycle cost analysis. What is the capex? What is the opex? Even if I need to spend more on a capital cost, I should work out what is the payback period for the additional differential capital cost. That is always very important. And generally, in today's context, uh, it is around two years uh, for the base system which is available. So this is what we need to do for HVAC system. Even building material which we are going to which, which we are going to buy, we should we should be if I go for the green building, we should always buy from the 500 kilometers rate uh, kilometers range. I think Mr. Ashish will agree for this uh, procurement of green green material which I want to if the building I wanted to certify. Even U value now generally if you see all the commercial buildings, uh, you the facade is very important for the architect. He should he always prefer the glass facade. When we select the glass facade, it should be always double glazed facade and the U value should be very low. Okay. That is very important. I think when we design the HVAC system, the glass is the most energy guzzler. The heat transfer due to conduction and convection and of course radiation is very important and we should minimize that heat transfer. And that's the reason why we should go with the low E glasses, okay, which has got the lowest relative heat gain. 
then uh, if you see for the green building we are always going for the ready mix uh, the uh, mix uh, ready mix concrete with the fly ash okay this is always a part of the green building and yes lighting should be nowadays led is the most uh, uh, acceptable lamp across the country across the world so we always go for the led where the efficacy of the led may be 150 or 140 lumens per watt so we always go generally we always go for the uh, for the highest uh, efficacy which is with the better lumens per watt yes capacitor capacitor also capacitor bank is also required for the best uh, best uh, uh, power factor where generally we should go near to 1.99 or 0.98 to avoid the penalty power penalty by way of uh, uh, by way of a reduction of the power factor then i am coming to the water now water treatment is very important you have to have i'm generally as mr ashish says that it should be a net zero building when you say net zero building we should always prefer a zero discharge so whatever water you use for like in where we sits in reliance we have 30000 tons of air conditioning 20 25000 employees are there so when when you talk about a zero discharge you should have a wtp you should have a stp and uh, even whatever sludges are there which can be converted into fertilizer so this is what is required so you should have the if uh, effluent treatment plant is required rainwater harvesting is very important now see bombay is flooded uh, flooded with rains so everyone in mumbai or maybe across the country everyone should think of uh, the uh, rainwater harvesting you 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 collect the rainwater in a pit and then we can use increase the water level ground water level and we can utilize in the rest of the part of the of the year now as as mr kadyan says anish says that maintenance i agree with mr anish kadyan because if you have the proper maintenance first of all you have to give amc of the chiller or hvs equipment only to the original equipment manufacturer today what is happening that, that the cost of oem amc cost of oem goes little higher so generally the end user gives to the known am known oem uh, person and definitely and the year of time the system may or may not be give the proper maintenance because they should have the proper staff to maintain the chillers and equipments at all water consumption has to measure when we go for the quality of water water cooled chillers or water cooled system definitely quality of uh, quality of makeup water has to be maintained properly monitoring the water consumption and the main important thing is you have to record the plant performance daily nowadays lot of building management systems are available from the reputed companies like honeywell or companies are there so we should also have that type of system so that at least you can see what is the performance of the machine today and what was the performance the same day last year so you can very well work out that yesterday last year the my performance was this today my performance is this so i can very well take any very well take the action for maintain or upkeeping of the plant and main important thing is training to your technical staff is very important if you train the person with respect to the chiller with respect to the oem with respect to the maintenance definitely you will have a better output from all the person so i think for hvac point i have this is what i wanted to say you should have stp plant even even in a big big premises biogas plants are also there hvac chiller you have as i said earlier selection of high pressure chiller be required vfd for ahu selection of low pressure ducting and all so basically to have a proper maintenance efficient maintenance and uh, maintain the water quality of makeup or the quality of chiller or air conditioning system you will be definitely have use the machine use the chiller till the life of the machine see today in reliance industries at navi movie where we see the chiller is starting 2004 today is it 2022 still the machines are giving the best efficiency we have the centrifugal chiller so ultimately if you have the proper maintenance you can definitely improve the life of the machine this is what i want to say there are lots of thing to be said uh, for operational efficiency and all but i am sure that uh, within 10 minutes time given to me rajeshwari and the team uh, thermal control magazine i am sure i have told uh, what best i, I can say thank you thank you very much Thank you.